My finance and investment um, course was actually structured in three different years, so going obviously harder and harder as you go. Uh, the first year was nice and slow, uh, introductory, um, and then moving on to second year, it was actually starting to get a little bit more challenging. And then third year, that's actually where you actually got the entire picture. So all the little bits that you could actually see and try to like follow up in third year, everything clicked together and all of a sudden you're actually graduating. Um, so within the University of Brighton, um, especially in the business school, there is the uh, Trading and Investment Society. There is the OSTC, which is a um, global trading company, which has an office in Brighton. The managing director is Sam Baker, an alumni from uh, University of Brighton. So it's actually good because he gives students uh, like hands-on approach to the market, how quick it is, how fast you need to be, and how precise you need to be as like a small mistake can actually result in big losses. Within the uh, business school, uh, there is also a room dedicated to trading. It's actually sponsored by OSTC and all the computers they actually have uh, Thomson Reuters um, installed when you can actually download like different data and graphs and charts from all over the world. So everyone actually has not just the approach of the market, but also how the system works. So when they're actually ready to graduate, they actually will have a full experience of an actual program that is actually used by traders. Now we have the head of school prize for the best performing uh, final year student on uh, BSc Finance and Investment uh, to be presented by head of school, Tony Hilton. And the winner is Diego Pompa. The finance and investment course is actually structured like, uh, with about like 15, 20 hours of uh, lectures and seminars during the week. Um, but the really nice things that, that I find about Brighton and then I discover actually differences with other universities is that all the lecturers and tutors are actually always available. So they actually can run almost the entire class for you on a one-to-one -one basis if like, you just ask them like, nicely. They are always available um, anyway to support and to actually explain the same thing again and again in a different way if, if you didn't understand it. Uh, I moved to the UK after like, finishing school in Italy and then started to work as I didn't like studying and now here I am graduating in a different country here. <laughs> uh, Brighton is really um, open-minded so studying here actually give you the access to pretty much uh, any pleasure in terms of like going out, um, relaxing, sports as well. Uh, there are a lot of societies so it's actually good for um, also like meeting new people, especially if like you're moving uh, for the first time from, like, from your family. There is always like a really good environment. So the entire city of Brighton becomes actually a student uh, city. So overall it actually gives you like a nice relaxed environment.